So you can see I'm building pauses into these video clips so that you can keep up. You do them as you go. So now I wanna make my next lighter gray and I know I'm aiming towards this one. So here's a nice gray. A little darker. I'll go a little darker still. Okay, and I'll put that one right here. Oh, all of a sudden I can really see what it's doing because it's right next to my previous gray. And I close up that gap really nice. So now I just need one more step between this and that. So this is my dark one. And um, you can see that I'm using my palette to um, help me. My palette is a tool. I can see what I have here and I can see what I have here and I know I wanna mix something in the middle. So take some white, take some of this, cause I know I'm gonna need the rest of it. And somewhere in the middle. Now, the reason I said four or five is so that you don't have to feel like you have to do it perfectly. Um, I don't want you to do more than five steps because this exercise will become too complicated and unwieldy. Here's a nice step. And what do you think? I think I can throw in one more. Here we go, split the difference. So lucky me, I was really generous at the beginning and made a nice big pile of my neutral, which is nice, because now I have a lot to work with. Thanks, me. Nice, gray, and then my darkest one. Which, interesting, like, it looks like there's a color change, doesn't there? Very interesting. Yours will not look identical to this. It will look somewhat different, but I hear I have my darkest neutral, lighter, 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 and my white. So when you've gotten to this step, you can clear off this part of your palette, move things off to the side, save that bit of my darkest neutral because I will be able to use it and then you're ready for the next step.